abode of Krishna, an essential subject from Vanapedia those who choose not to love and serve God proclaim the kingdom of God as imagination. However, Krishna himself declares that his abode is not a myth. Corroborated by self-realized souls and great saintly persons as revealed through authoritative scriptures, this is the supreme destination of the godly souls from which there is no return. Everything is self-effulgent and full of spiritual bliss, infused with love of God nothing is material. It is without any trace of hunger, thirst, anger, or calamity, and time is conspicuous by its absence. Krishna's transcendental abode cannot be reached by material means. To enter the spiritual kingdom one must be purified of the misconception that one is this body. Through the execution of service in pure love, Krishna reciprocates by giving the intelligence by which one can be promoted to his abode where the devotee becomes eternally happy. Srila Prabhupada's books, lectures, conversations, and letters offer a comprehensive presentation of this essential subject as seen in the Vanaquotes Abode of Krishna category. An introduction from his books is given below in the following 12 quotes. Quotes from Srila Prabhupada's books in the spiritual kingdom of Lordka, named Goloka Vinvana, there are Surabhai cows which give unlimited quantities of milk. There are desire trees from which anyone can take all kinds of fruits, as much as he may desire. The land is made of touchstone, which when touched to iron will transform it into gold. In other words, although in the spiritual kingdom, the abode of Ka, everything is wonderfully opulent, still when Ka was in Dvrak his charity exceeded the opulences of Goloka Vinvana. Wherever Ka is present, the limitless opulence of Goloka Vinvana is automatically present. Nectar of Instruction, Text 21, Anyone who seriously takes to Krishna consciousness, whether in the lowest species of life or a woman or of the less intelligent classes, such as the mercantile or laborer class, will go back home, back to Godhead, and reach the abode of Krishna. Ramad Bhaitavadam 3.3141, Yet Bhagavad Gta with Makron does not advise us to go to any of the planets in this material world because even if we go to Brahmaloka, the highest planet, through some sort of mechanical contrivance by maybe traveling for 40,000 years, and who would live that long, we will still find the material inconveniences of birth, death, disease, and old age. But one who wants to approach the supreme planet, Kalaka, or any of the other planets within the spiritual sky, will not meet with these material inconveniences. Amongst all of the planets in the spiritual sky there is one supreme planet called Goloka Vinvana, which is the original planet in the abode of the original personality of Godhead Arka. Bhagavad Gta with Makron, Introduction, the relationship between man and woman is very complicated, but the substance is that one who aspires to ascend to the transcendental stage of spiritual realization should be very careful in accepting the association of a woman. In the stage of ka-consciousness, however, such restriction of association may be slackened because if a man's and woman's attachment is not to each other but to ka, then both of them are equally eligible to get out of the material entanglement and reach the abode of ka. Ramad Bhaitavadam 3.3141, one should also always meditate upon the dealings between R.A. with Makron D.H.A. with Makron and Ka in the transcendental world. One should think of R.A. with Makron D.H.A. with Makron and Ka 24 hours a day and engage in their service within one's mind, not externally change one's dress. By adopting the mood of the associates and friends of R.A. with Makron D.H.A. with Makron R.A. with Makron and following in their footsteps, one can ultimately achieve the perfectional stage of being transferred to Goloka Vinvana, the transcendental abode of Ka. Teachings of Lord Caitanya, Chapter 31, One who is fully conversant with the Ka science becomes eligible to enter into the spiritual kingdom, the abode of Ka. Becoming Brahman does not mean that one loses his identity. Devotional service is there, and as long as devotional service exists, there must be God, the devotee, and the process of devotional service. Such knowledge is never vanquished, even after liberation. Bhagavad Gta with Makron 18.55, the whole material universe is called Devdma, and above it is Sivadma, where Lord Siva and his wife Parvat eternally reside. Above that planetary system is the spiritual sky, where innumerable spiritual planets, known as Vakuhas, 
are situated. And above these Vakuha planets is Ks planet, known as Galoka Vinvana. The word Galoka means planet of the cows. Because Ka is very fond of cows, his abode is known as Galoka. Galoka Vinvana is larger than all the material and spiritual planets put together. Teachings of Lord Caitanya, Chapter 14 The Lord resides eternally in his abode Galoka, yet he can be approached from this world, and to this end the Lord comes to manifest his real form, Saksi Idinandavagraha, BS 5.1. When he manifests this form, there is no need for our imagining what he looks like. To discourage such imaginative speculation, he descends and exhibits himself as he is, as Imasandera. Unfortunately, the less intelligent deride him because he comes as one of us and plays with us as a human being. But because of this we should not consider the Lord one of us. It is by his omnipotency that he presents himself in his real form before us and displays his pastimes, which are replicas of those pastimes found in his abode. Bhagavad Gita with Makron, Introduction, the Supreme Abode of the Personality of Godhead, Ka, is described in the Brahma Sahit as Sint Mayidma, a place where all desires are fulfilled. The Supreme Abode of Lord Ka, known as Galoka Vinvana, is full of palaces made of touchstone. There are also trees, called desire trees, that supply any type of eatable upon demand, and there are cows, known as Surabhai cows, which supply a limitless supply of milk. In this abode, the Lord is served by hundreds of thousands of goddesses of fortune, Lakms, and he is called Govinda, the primal Lord and the cause of all causes. Bhagavad Gita with Makron 8.21, beyond the limitation of this material world is the spiritual sky, Paravioma, which has many spiritual planets, the supreme of which is called Kalaka. Kalaka, the abode of Ka, has three divisions, which are known as Dvrak, Mathur, and Gokula. In that abode the personality of Godhead expands himself into four plenary portions Ka, Balarma, Pradyumna, the transcendental Cupid, and Anuruddha. They are known as the original quadruple forms. Caitanya Karatanta, Di LLA with Makron Summary, Chapter 5 the godly living beings who are all residents of the planets in the spiritual sky are eternal associates of God in different spiritual planets called Haridma and Mahizadma. The abode of Lord Ka above all spiritual planets is called Kalaka or Galoka Vinvana, and the perfected living being, by developing 78% of the above attributes in fullness, can enter the planet of Kalaka after leaving the present material body. Ramad Bhaitgavadam 1.328 those who are worshippers of demigods never reach the Supreme Lord in his Supreme Planet. Even the less intelligent Brahman realized persons cannot reach the Supreme Planet of Ka known as Galoka Vinvana. Only persons who perform activities in Ka consciousness, M.A. with Makron Emrityat, are actually entitled to be called Brahman, because they are actually endeavoring to reach the Ka Planet. Bhagavad Gita with Makron 7.29